Hello beaver fans, it's Mike here of Mike's Videos of Beavers. As you can see, this video starts out with four beavers gathered at the riverbank in downtown Saskatoon. Uh, this is going to be a fairly long video, it's over 10 minutes, but man, it was such a great beaver encounter. I hope you watch the whole video, you'll be glad you did. So much interesting beaver action. So as you can see, at this point to my left, there was a beaver doing some solo grooming of his fur. Um, and right in front of me were two other beavers who had started uh, doing what we call mutual grooming or social grooming, where uh, uh, each beaver is helping to groom the other's fur. So I've zoomed in here for a close-up of one of the beavers grooming the other one's fur. I've mentioned a few times on my channel that uh, grooming their fur is a daily ritual for the beavers. They, In fact, they do it several times a day. Um, the purpose of the grooming is to, uh, first of all, clean debris out of their fur, but also to spread oils through the fur, which helps keep them waterproof. Uh, beavers use their hands, which really are actually front feet, but I call them hands, and their toes and their teeth to work their fur. Here you can see a, a fourth beaver pull up. I don't know if this was one of the beavers at the start of the video or if that one left and another one came up. This beaver that just pulled up is a smaller beaver. I'm guessing it's a yearling, probably was born last spring. Uh, the little one does not get involved in any of the grooming uh, during this video. Uh, the other three beavers, the, the ones that are involved in the grooming, they seem to be all the same size, more or less. I don't know if they're all adults or if uh, maybe one of them is a, a two-year-old that's close to physical maturity, but they're all close to the same size. So here now you can see uh, they're doing some individual grooming, but they will go back to the mutual grooming shortly. Um, and here you can see both of these two beavers um, start using their hind foot uh, to do some grooming and they use their hind foot to reach places that aren't as easy to reach with their front feet or hands uh, and interestingly on their hind feet um, the beavers have a split toenail on each foot and they use that split toenail kind of like a brush or a comb as part of the process Now you can see things are about to change up. The little beaver is still just ignoring everyone else, but that third beaver that was on his own came swimming over and joined in. It, it looked like the three of them were going to groom, but instead the one in the middle turned and focused on social grooming with the newcomer. And that left the beaver on the right to continue doing some solo grooming. I paused my camera and slid to the left because the one beaver had been blocking the other two and I wanted to get a better angle so you can see what was going on. Again, I zoomed in for a close-up to try to get a better look. Oh, there you saw the beaver's orange teeth. Uh, we really don't see the teeth much while they're grooming because uh, they're buried in the fur. 
And there, there's another fella there using his hind toe and that split toenail to do some grooming. And now I don't know why I would have said fellow because um, as you may know, it's almost impossible to tell a male and female beaver apart simply by looking at them. Um, the only time you can really tell is if you see a nursing beaver, uh, her nipples or boobs will be vi quite visible. And so then you'll know it's a, a female. What I tend to do is just use the words his and her interchangeably. And um, most of the time, I really have no idea whether the beaver I'm talking about is male or female. I have to say, I just feel incredibly privileged to get to watch these scenes. Uh, there's a lot of people who have never even seen a beaver in the wild. And yet I get to see these really cool, intimate encounters. Uh, not only see them, but see them up close. It's, I just love that these beavers let me sneak quietly into their habitat and turn my camera on so that I can, can share some of these awesome moments with, with other people who might be interested in them. And here's one more close-up for you here. And you can see the uh, beaver is also using his little hands to sort of grab and pull the fur as he's chewing. Um, just really fascinating to, to see them doing what really is quite an intimate um, moment between two beavers. Uh, this next scene coming up is one that you may have seen elsewhere because I shared about a 30-second clip of this video earlier in the week. So you can see this beaver's coming over, and I assumed he was going to get in on the grooming. It looked like he was going to, but just watch. He, he just suddenly decided, no, this is over. And he uses his body weight and pushes the two of them out of there. I'm not sure why he or she thought things should be done, but... Uh, clearly, he felt it was time to take control of the situation. So the first beaver there just sort of pulled up, and it looked like uh, the uh, second one was going to come back and join for more mutual grooming. But no, this beaver has said, no, keep moving. Uh, for whatever reason, that beaver thought that the mutual grooming time was over, and the others, they just sort of listened. So now each of the two beavers were sitting uh, a little ways apart in the riverbank and oh my goodness, I love it when they have one leg up in the air and they're cleaning their undercarriage. Um, such a silly look for these beavers, especially with their feet all webbed and funny. So each of these two beavers now just settled into the shallow water sitting on their haunches uh, and started grooming. Well, I guess I shouldn't say started grooming. They continued grooming, but now they're doing solo grooming. The reason beavers sit on their haunches is that exposes their cloaca, which is where they get the oil from, and they get the oil on their hands and, and feet and then can spread it around their body. Anyways, the video's winding down. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it because I just thought it was a, a great experience to see these beavers interacting. 
If you enjoy my beaver movies, please click like, uh, that little thumbs up, and uh, make sure you're subscribed to my channel because there'll be plenty more beaver videos to come. Cheers.